Good evening. Good evening. Wonderful Wednesday, 725. Amen, amen, amen. If it had not been for the Lord, we would not be able to see this day. November the 30th. Hey, my God. We thank you. The fourth quarter of the season. This is it. This is the, the fourth, the winter, summer, spring, winter, fall. Hey, this is winter. But we thank God in the midst of it all. We're giving God praise because it, you know, so many people are going through so much in this hour. So many people did not make it thus far. So those that have birthdays, I saw one of my God sister's birthdays today. Um, Mama Ann, Elizabeth, blessings on you, all of you that have birthdays today, all of you that had birthdays all year. Happy birthday to me through the month of July. So it's just a blessing to yet be in the land of the living and to be able to do what God would have us to do. Some have no acknowledgments of God. Some don't care if there is a God. Some say they know God, but yet they want to do what they want to do. So we we just going to... Okay, then. Good. Thank you. Uh, we just want to be obedient to the will of God. As Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, if my people, which he would, the Lord was talking about his people, those that are supposed to love him, those that are supposed to cherish and honor him, which are called by his name, would just humble themselves. So we're living in a time now where there needs to be a, a total surrender of being hum humble, having a spirit of humility, because if it had not been for the Lord, uh, again, so many things we've been through and some of us actually really seriously called on God and asked God to come in our lives and change us. And this is why we made it through a lot of things that uh, we, we shouldn't even be here. But thank God, because of our mindset that we really wanted to change our lives, we're here. So I thank God for that tonight in the midst of chaos, in the midst of all type of violence. Uh, yes, we know that we're living in perilous times. I've been teaching all year faith. Uh, versus action. We have to have action behind our faith, meaning what? We have to put forth an effort. We talked about putting forth an effort. We talked about, I've been teaching about the seven keys of deliverance for the last couple couple of months. And uh, I just said, Lord, I refuse to stop. Uh, so many other things politically are going on. Um, you know, we hear all type of things on the news. There's so much violence going on. Uh, a prayer for the bereaved family tonight. I just saw on the news a young man, beautiful young man. Uh, again, gun violence. Um, there's so much jealousy and hatred out here in this atmosphere. Even we see it when we go out on, in the grocery stores, in the, on, on the highways. And then, you know, so, so many people say, well, it's about race. It's not about race. If you look at it, it's not about so much racism. It's like uh, each, each, you know, black on black uh, uh, taking each other lives. Uh, you know, we have the Hispanic, the Hispanic uh, population. We have uh, other uh, people that of uh, the same race and culture that are taking each other lives because it's a spirit of rage. It's a spirit of anger because the devil knows that his time is not long. And so he really targets the young people because he knows that the strength they have, the gifts they have, the talent they have. And so it, it's this time and I was so it's just a time that we have to be really strategic in the power of prayer. Understand that we have to pray. I mean, pray without ceasing is no real time. We have to pray without ceasing because we don't know when or where, but we always know that the devil has a setup that he wants to steal kill and destroy. That's his mission to steal our joy, take our lives, take our minds, uh, do whatever he can to 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 separate us from whatever is good, try to make those that we think love us turn on us. And, you know, I did um, last week about check your connections. Uh, seriously, from all of the chaos of the young lady uh, that went out to another country and yet so many are saying this, so many are saying that. Bottom line, she's gone. That's that's in those young men that, that died up in college. Bottom line, their, their lives were cut and they're gone. So this is why uh, those that uh, in the in the I think the grocery store, uh, Walmart in Virginia, those those lives are gone. Uh, they've been cut uh, short from this side of the earth because of somebody's anger, somebody's hatred. And when we're walking in da danger zones, this is why uh, it's so vital that we pray, that we pray. The power of prayer is real. There's so many times my children were set up, so many times my children faced death, so many times, but it was the power of God that in the power of prayer that I just prayed for prayer. Some people say, oh, well, you're too religious. Not being religious, it's having a relationship with the Lord. Glory to God. We cannot forget to pray every day. So what the devil means for bad, it may go down, but it won't go down as bad as what, what he meant it to be because we were on guard. So this is what all of these things, I pray for other families that are going through, but it teach me more and it, it, it you know gives me heads up. Hey, I got to pray more. I have to fast more. I have to call out, you know, those different names and different areas.
we need to be on point in praying. There's no time for foolishness. There's no time for picking. There's no time for judging. There's no time for that because we're supposed to be the whistleblowers. Remember I told you all 2022, we should be the whistleblowers in 2022 that we are the real disciples standing up and glory to God. If, okay, if, if someone don't believe in God, if someone is not, you know, that you're affiliated with, you pray for them. You pray for them. This is what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be holding up one another. The Bible says bear one another burdens. We're supposed to be there for them not to condemn, not to put down, because it could have been us. So we thank God on tonight, November 30th, we made it through a whole year, glory to God, of all the things that we've been through, God made sure the angels, those that were calling on the angels and telling them where to go, what to do, Holy Spirit, guard us, watch us, protect us. Hey, we've been we've been doing what we could and that, that we knew to do, hallelujah. And this is why God has allowed us just another day to be able to reach somebody else, to be able to say, you know, yes, in the midst of chaos, God loves you in the midst of all this the devil comes to do these things but the lord when you call on him he will come with vengeance he will send the angels to the rescue a lot of people don't call on him till something goes wrong some people don't acknowledge him all week long all day long and so when something happened we want to blame god but the lord say i gave you angels i gave you authority in the holy ghost that you accept me and accept my power and that you would have those gifts in the spirit that you'll be able to use that that i've given you that's the authority he's given us so tonight i'm going to talk just a little a while had to jump in with you for a minute um acceptance, acceptance uh we've talked about seven keys of deliverance for the last few um uh weeks here and we went through acknowledging god uh, number one key that I talked about acknowledging god okay you, you can't you can't understand the keys to the kingdom of the kings of the keys of authority that God has given his people. You have to acknowledge him and get to know God. And we were created in this world for a purpose. We were created. I talked about this earlier in the year. We were created with a gift. We were created with a talent. We were created with a goal. But the devil do, do not like the point of who we are. And he does not like, glory to God, where you're going. So just know when you were born, you were a threat from day one. From the time your, the seed was planted in your mother's womb, God knew your name. Remember we talked about that last year? God knew our name before we even knew our name. God knew our name before our parents knew our name. We didn't know our name. We was in the womb. But God knew our name. He knew the destiny, what we were going to go through, why we were coming on this earth. And some people were going to accept their call and some people were not. So we're going to deal with the last few weeks of this month. I have an awesome session next month. I, I, I had uh, rescheduled all I guess for next month. So as they said, the fourth quarter is going down in December. We got them coming in. Glory to God. I think I have five guests. I think five or six that's coming in next month. So we're going to be on our sessions. Uh, during the week and on the weekends because we, we're not going out of here with, with, with a depressed time this year. We're not going out being defeated. Well, some said, well, the prayers that I prayed, nothing has happened yet. Oh, just wait a minute. Wait a minute. God is coming with a comeback. Come on tonight. God is coming with a comeback in our lives because he, you know, when you believe signs and wonders follow them that believe. This is why it's a necessity for you to understand the keys of the kingdom. This is why you need to know that you have authority God has given you, but some are not using the keys that he's given. These keys, every Everybody have different keys. My key can't fit your car. My key can't fit your house. My key can't fit your safe. There are different keys that each of us have in our lives that we have to do things that we operate and function with. So, uh, so the supernatural, there are keys in the kingdom. That's his power, his gifts that he's given us. And I keep emphasizing, I'm going to keep on speaking it, that we have to use what God has given us. He's given us this greatness and without the keys of power and authority, know how to use the gifts of the spirit, know how to use the power of prayer. We will be defeated. And there are so many naysayers out here. Oh, I'm watching the YouTubers. They out here. Oh, they talking about the false promise. They putting down the pastors. They putting down the preachers. They saying that women don't even need to be preaching. Well, that's fine. I'm a disciple. I'm Felicia. However you want to say it, I'm going to say it and cry loud. I've seen hundreds, thousands of souls been saved since I've been in ministry. Since I was 20 years old, I've been preaching, teaching, however you want to say it, witnesses. It's okay. I, I, the Lord said true witnesses deliver souls. How about that? So we're a true witness and we're telling our testimony and we're sharing and people are getting saved and delivered. All right then. So people want to debate. It's a trick of the devil. They want to debate about stuff that is not important at this time and age, but they want to cause confusion and distraction to get us 
off what we need to be focusing on. Oh, this title, that title. It's okay. I said, the Lord called me Felicia when I was in my mother's womb. <laughs> Glory to God. It's okay. Yes, as time went on, I earned a degree to be a doctor. Glory to God. I had to go through some classes and some seminars and, and some teachers and writings, all these type of reports to become who I am when it came to the degree. But that doesn't have anything to do with the anointing. Come on, somebody tonight. This is why people are getting it twisted. I said, they want a title so bad, you can just get a title. You can add on a title. So many people want the call, but they don't want the anointed. They want the title, but they're, oh, I glory to God. I don't know who on with me tonight. I got to tune in to see who's on with me tonight, but blessings on you all is coming in. I'm just rambling on already. But so many want the call, but they don't want to carry what it takes to walk in the call. Good evening. I see my sister in the Port St. Lucie. Blessings on you. Slake. Oh, there go Mama Cookie is in tonight. Glory to God. Mama Cooper is in also. There go Pastor D is in. I see my sister Janet in. Hey, Tina. Tina is in tonight. Glory to God. I thank God for all of you that are coming in tonight. We have to understand that so many want the call and they want, let's say, the, 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 the goodness. They want all the gifts. They want all the blessings. Want everything that God can give them, but they don't want to do what it takes to walk in that call, to walk in the anointing. It takes something. It takes. I just heard a preacher. I don't know. It was uh, somewhere. I had my room. It was in that plan. But I heard somebody say this morning. They were a pastor, Bishop Dale Brunner. You have to be broken in order to get what you need to get. So tonight I'm saying to you, if you were broken this year, you went through some things this year, things didn't go the way you think. Oh, you feel like you was crushing some areas. It's okay. Because guess what? God has it already set up. Come on, somebody. He has not forgotten about you. 2022 is not over. You don't know who, when, and how you're going to get blessed. But accept the keys of the kingdom. Accept what God has for you. Accept the negatives. Accept the ugly. Accept the bad. Glory to God. It don't feel good. That's right. But it's okay. I accept my call. I accept my anointing. I accept God, the goal that you've given me. I accept my destiny. I accept my mission on this earth. I was a call to come here and do what I want to do. He has blessed us. We have to have careers. We have jobs. We have different things we have to do to be able to make money, to take care of ourselves. But the main thing was for us, yes, to have families, to enjoy, and to be able to be blessed and share with each other. A lot of times we can't even do that anymore. It's so chaotic with families. It's so chaotic with so-called friends. Do we see the young lady that got killed? I don't care what the situation was. You don't leave your homie in a room or whatever. And don't don't make sure they all right and say, oh, because they made me mad. Really? Really? They made you mad. Where's the human being part of us? There's a part of God in all of us when we're born. Where's that part at anymore? People have no compassion. Let's go back to the book of Timothy. We're in perilous times, the third chapter. We've been talking about the second chapter and the third chapter of Timothy. We're in perilous times. The Lord said there will be times like this. So therefore, I tell my children, you don't have no friends. You have associates. You have some. Some you may have a few friends in this life. You're not going to have very many. Don't take it lightly. You all that's out here, make sure you're telling your children, you're teaching your grands, you're teaching your nephews, your nieces. Listen, if people don't like you, don't go nowhere with them. If they had, you had some run in with them, don't go anywhere with them. My son called me today. He said a young man went to Georgia and all of a sudden they found him three days later. He's dead. Don't know what happened, what who he left with, who he left with. Nobody's around to say what happened to him. We're living in a time now. You have to be real careful who you're around. Be real careful what you're paying attention to. Be real careful. You know why? Because you've accepted your call. Hey, glory to God. You've accepted that God I live and God I die. You've accepted, Lord, in the midst of all that I go through, I know there's something inside of me that you want me me to share and help somebody else. So we are the whistleblowers for 2022. We going into 2023, glory to God, with an attitude of praise. Oh my God. We're not going to stop praising. We're not going to stop believing. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep praying. We're going to, again, having that attitude of being humble, having that humility spirit. We're accepting our goal tonight. And when I looked up, I was looking at it and it said, you know, when you accept, glory to God, you're submitting yourself. We talked about the seven keys. One was, the second key was prayer. The third key was submission. The fourth was forgiveness. The other was embracing transition. Understand, we're embracing transition and about we're doing all of these other keys and these steps. Now it's time to accept your anointing. Accept who you are. No, you don't look like somebody else. No, you may not act like somebody else. Or you may not like certain things with everybody else. Like, it's okay. Be your own original in the Holy Ghost. You will prosper in the things that you have in your life when you begin to relax and be your own self. It's okay. I'm not like somebody. I don't look like them. I don't act like them. It's okay not to be like. It's okay not to run with the group. It's okay. Glory to God. We're seeing in this time now. It's okay. J 
just to say, okay, it's not okay. It's okay not to be okay. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, in this time we're living, we need to take real, real, real caution steps on how we move, when we move. Say, move just like that. Sometimes we don't need to move at all. When the Holy Ghost say don't move, when the Holy Ghost say don't, don't, don't go out there today. No, don't go that way. No, don't do this today. Yes. Oh, but I got to listen to no. You follow your first mind. Your first mind is the power of God. Your first mind is God. That, that gift was given to us when we were born on this earth. And again, we have the five senses. We have those the, the things that we felt like, oh, it's my, my imagination playing tricks on me. No, that's the part of God that was in us that we never even realized. So all he was waiting on us was to connect with him and say, Lord, we accept. We believe you're here. We believe you're alive. We believe you died for us. We believe, glory to God, you've given us a reason to live. And this is why we're here. We're not here to pimp nobody. We're not here to lie nobody. We're not here to cast judgment. We're not here because, first of all, the tree is known by the fruit it bears. Come on, somebody tonight. So we accept who we are. We know the fruits that we're bearing. We know what we, what, uh, you know, what we like, what we don't like. We know our good, we know our bad, we know our ugly. When you realize who you are, you can relate, glory to God, to yourself better, and you can put yourself in a position that, God, I accept my call. Yeah, I accept my gifts. Yeah, I accept that. Yeah, I made that mistake. 2022, I made some errors. 2022, yeah, some things I should have did, I didn't do. Yeah, okay, 2022, Lord, you told me to step out and do some things, and I was slow for body. See, these are things we began to reminisce on and not making no New Year's resolution. Uh -uh, we're going to keep walking in the acceptance of our call, which is to please God. And every day I keep saying we die daily. We're not perfect. We're not, we're not, you know, we're not, well, there's no crown on our head yet to be in glory. So we're in a process of learning. So we accept in the midst of this last quarter, it's going down, it's going down in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I don't care how much blood the devils want to produce and say, oh, they're producing more blood and more hatred and more violence, but the power of praise is bringing in more healings, more deliverances, more people are coming to God through salvation in the midst of these funerals. That's the time, glory to God, that they do altar calls. Not so much preaching, but glory to God, do an altar call. Let them get on their knees. Let them begin to throw their hands up and say, God, Lord, here we are. Lord, take us, save us, revive us, redeem us from the curse of the devil. The devil don't like us because there is greatness inside of us. He don't like us because the strong mind we have. He don't like us because the strength that you have. He don't like us because you made it through every test, every trial, every battle you got up like a bad oh, we, we're the devil's worst nightmare he does not like us he's tried so hard this year he tried to take my life he tried to take my mind he tried to set me up he tried to do some things glory to god toward my businesses but i refuse glory to god to stop because my call is in god my purpose is in god so therefore nobody has the right or authority to do anything to me unless the lord allowed him to come near me you have to understand the power that you have except your anointing to tonight. I'm going to close. I just had to jump in with you. Accept the gifts that God has given you. Accept that you are different. Accept glory to God. Yes, it's been a hard time. It's been some knocks and some pushes, but nothing that you, I tell people, if you don't work for something and if you have to go through something to get it, it's not going to be worth it. So tonight, look at yourself differently. It's worth what you're going through. Your ending that they say the last shall be first. Whatever is on that, that end line, glory to God, it's going to be worth the wait. There is no good thing that God will withhold from them that loves him, except tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Except the fact that, yeah, I'm going to do this. Except the fact, okay, all right, Lord, I've learned some things. Okay, yes, I, I see. I see where you're going. So when we look at other people's stories and testimonies, I begin to pray more. I begin to understand more. My heart just go out and I heard that they're like they're, they were my children. I said, oh, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, like they were my family members. And my children said, oh, mommy, you always so drunk. I said, that's somebody's family. I can't even do certain TV shows because, it, again, that's somebody that has been through this stuff. So, again, tonight, accept your call. Accept the precious gifts that God has given you. Don't don't let 2022 go out of here. The three tools. Hallelujah. Don't let it get the Trinity number. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Don't let this year go out without you proclaiming and you decreeing what God said you're going to do in your purpose. Not about money. Not about houses. Not about land. Not about cars. Glory to God. It's about you being humble enough and being able to pray and intercede 
seed for your family. Hallelujah. From them that are connect, those that are connected to you. The purpose for us was to help to regenerate those that need to be saved into the kingdom of God. Some will and some won't, but we have to cry loud and spare not. We must be the, the whistleblowers. I need my whistles. I got to get my whistles ready for the new year. We're whistleblowers. And it's not so much celebrating just the new year. Oh, oh yada, 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 with all the stars and all, all the, uh, uh, you know, the fireworks. It's about what's going down in the Holy Ghost in 2023. Glory to God. So that's why I said we're, we're, we're just going to flow on over into 2023 because already the devil's already set up and they have assignments what they're going to do against the people in 2023. Oh, they already got it laid out. But the power of intercession, we will block again, Matthew 18 and 18. We will block whatever. Glory to God. The devils want to do what they cannot do. The other last night, the Holy Spirit gave to me again, brought back to my mind. And Jesus said, I told Peter, I will build my church on this rock. I showed him the essence of how hard that rock was. My rock, that rock has to be, it's a hard substance. It cannot be broken easily. On tonight, the devil wanted to break us. Yes, he broke us emotionally. He broke us maybe physically. Hallelujah. But he couldn't break our spirit. Glory to God, because our spirit is connected with God. Those that believe and has accepted the, the, the key to deliverance, those that have accepted your keys, you cannot be broken anymore the way it was before. You've been broken in a place in the different areas to make you stronger than ever before because we are they that are called by his name. We are the real church. Those that I keep saying to people, everybody Christian, everybody, 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 everybody Christian. Okay, okay. But we are they. We're the disciples. How about that? We're the disciples. We're not trying to pick up the pagan names. We're trying, not trying to follow something that's really not in the line that we need to be followed. But we are the disciples of God out here being witnesses that somebody needs to know. There is somebody that is living right. There is somebody trying to do right. There is somebody that is different. There's somebody out here. We're not hating on people. We're not down on people. There are some of us out here, true, true, for real, for real. We out here to be witnesses and to win souls. That's our mission. That's our journey, to win many souls as possible. And when we're doing what God wants us to do, his kingdom work, he's going to take care of our, oh my God, he's going to take care of all the natural things. He said, there's no good thing he would hold from us and he said that what philippians 4 19 he will supply all our needs according to his what riches and glory on tonight we have a rich savior we have a rich lord he loves us and just think about it how many of us lost weight this this year missing a food missing a <laughs> missing a meal we've been blessed hallelujah highly favored by god he has allowed us to sustain so many attacks because of the power of the holy spirit and the gifts that he's given us and the great and love he's given us tonight take advantage of that begin to pray and remind the devils uh, that your family they're covered in the blood remind the devils uh, that they can't do what they want to do to your family they can't do what they want to do to you because we're covered in his anointing our mind our soul our body remember a song we used to say my body belongs to god my mind belongs to god my eyes belong to god my whole body belongs to god and on the night we accept the fact god we can't do this without you god we thank you for this year november 30th 2022 my god we thank you for the next 30 days that's on the way for december we refuse to accept anything but victory in the name of jesus we pray for souls to come to the altar come to the altar of their hearts and give you uh, give you their lives in jesus name if you hear this now you hear this later i invite you to come to a mighty, wonderful Savior who loves us all. Glory to God. And his name is Jesus Christ. Oh, if you give your life and soul to him, he will teach you through his word. And it was so amazing. I'm closing now. This preacher said, I forgot his name. He said, many are saying, well, why are you listen to the Bible? Everybody, oh, you don't know who wrote the Bible. And why would you want to listen to that God there? And why would you want to serve that God? You say, you don't really see him or know him. He said, one thing I've come to know, that through my life, I've come to know those that wrote the Bible, they was inspired by the power of God because the stories that they wrote, he said, I have experienced some of those same testimonies, how God has healed me because I called on him, I prayed to him, I talked to him, I asked him to teach me. So I say to you, you don't want to believe, that's on you. I've lived a life where I know I've prayed some prayers. I've seen some signs and wonders in my life that I know I don't see what he looked like, but I know he up there. Hallelujah. And I know he got me. Glory to God. And he's covered me with his power and his love on tonight. Accept 
your call, accept your purpose, accept, glory to God, that you are different, accept that you are special. Oh, come on, somebody, accept that you are exceptionally <laughs> wonderful and gifted <laughs> what does that you say you're wonderfully made <laughs> so again accept that you are anointed by god accept that there is purpose for your life except lord i'm trying to find myself just talk to him just talk to him. lord teach me T open the door let me know teach me what i need to know god that i know that you're real what i need to know to do to save my life because whoever connected to you that's not just not you being saved whoever connected to you you become glory to god that intercessor before them you come that blocker for them you become glory to god that shield because of the power of prayer that you pray for them so that's why it's so vital tonight to understand this is so so very important you're a trillionaire woman you're a trillionaire man you're a billionaire <laughs> glory to god and this is why the threats go against you this is why the tax be so great because you found out who you are. Glory to God, when you didn't know they were coming at you, but then they came at you even stronger when you realized why you were put on this earth. Come on, somebody tonight. I love you all. Just realize, realize there's a backup plan that was waiting to step in on behalf of us. So what you worrying about, don't worry about it. Just relax. God got this right here. Just like he had all the other things. He got this right here. Sometimes he come in a different way, different timing, and he will come through people you never expect. So tonight, look for it and be uh, just get excited that, Lord, I'm excited about my call. I accept the gifts you've given to me. I accept, yes, God, what you have for my life and my family in Jesus' name. I love you all. So we'll see you all on Saturday. I think we'll be in at 6 o'clock. But we thank you all for tuning in tonight. If you hear us tonight, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> From Dr. Felicia Whipple Books, I thank God that God has given me this mission and I will continue to do it until he called me home. Glory to God. So love you all tonight. Have a blessed night. Blessings. Thank you, Jesus.